हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ वन्ना आई एम दी स्टूडेंट ऑफ बी एस सी ऑनर्स एग्रीकल्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक यू डॉक्टर प्रशांत बख्शी सर फॉर गिविंग अस एंड फॉर इंश्योरिंग अस दी मैजिक ऑफ लर्निंग इवन ड्यूरिंग दिस पैंडमिक एंड बींग सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड माई टॉपिक इज प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ कैशोनट हेयर इज दी कंटेंट Botanical description: Common name: Plow crop, gold mine of wasteland, dollar earning crop, bonder nut, and white gold. Botanical name: Anarcadium occidental. Family: Anarcadiaceae. Origin: Brazil. Chromosome, chromosome number 42. Inflorescence: Terminal panicle. Fruit type: Drupaceous nut. Introduction: Cashew is one of the most important tropical tree crops. Low spreading, evergreen with a number of primary and secondary branches very hardy and drought resistant crop deep tap root system is found flowering is terminal and universally preceded by the vegetative flush cross pollinated crop and pollinated by insects and wind the cashew tree normally starts flowering in 3 to 5 years among edible nuts cashew have second place 29% in international trade region and distribution tropical america is origin place of cashew it was spread all over the world by portuguese and spanish traveler it was believed that cashew was introduced in malabar coast of india in 16th century by portuguese cashew is a portuguese name india and production india is the largest producer of cashew in world sharing about 20% falling by nigeria here is the area production and productivity In India Maharashtra have first place in production and productivity Andhra Pradesh and Odisha Maharashtra have maximum average productivity 1262 kg per hectare composition and uses due to its nutritive value and commerce designated as zero cholesterol nut or white gold every part of cashew is useful to man the kernels all of value it is rich in protein 21% carbohydrates unsaturated fats minerals like calcium phosphorus and iron and vitamin c b1 and b2 its kernel skin is useful for pulp in- industry paints and varnishes resins extracts for kerala kanaka dhana and garlic one ula cashew one ulal cashew selection one selection two released for kanaka cultivation bpp series bpp1 2 3 4 5 and 6 for Mah- for maharashtra man gurla 1 man gurla 2 its distribution is restricted to altitude below 700 m optimum temperature range 20 to 20 to 35 degrees celsius annual rainfall 400 to 600 mm cashew loving tree and probably does not tolerate excessive shade or very high temperature 39 to 42 temperature less than 20 degrees celsius Cashew is mainly grown on laterite, red and coastal sands in India and other places. The best soil for cashew are deep, friable, well-drained and organic matter rich with pH 6 to 7. Propagation. Soft food grafting is commercially used for propagation. Procedure. 40 to 60 days old raised in polythene bags are utilized as rootstock. Later on season growth of pencil thickness with prominent terminal bud are selected as corn. The terminal growth at a height of 15 cm from ground level is decapitated of 5 to 6 cm is made up on the stem. Stick is mended into a wedge shape with 5 to 6 cm length and inserted carefully into the cleft stalk. Then the cleft joint is secured firmly with a polythene strip under shade condition and are kept in the shade for about 10 to 15 days till the The polythene cap should be removed before the grafts are shifted to the open place and maintained in till the next planting season. Preparation for raising a new plantation land preparation should begin as soon as the pre-monsoon showers are grafts are planted in the pit of 60 into 60 into 60 cm size. Probably to dig the pits at least 15 to 20 days before planting and exposed to sun. The pits are completely filled with a mixture of top soil compost and rock phosphate 200 g per pit. Planting cashew can be planted in pits of 60 cm into 60 into 60 cm size in soils with normal strata. In hard let soils pits of 1 m into 1 m into 1 m size are recommended. 
the top soil and sub soil are kept separately and allowed to wither under sun irrigation it is grown under rain fed conditions during summer summer month for nightly irrigation should be given for getting better yield irrigation at the time of fruit set up to full development stage helps in improving improving fruit size which help which also reduces fruit drop irrigation should not be given before or at the time of flowering as it likely to pr promote vegetative growth manuring and fertilization application of 15 k kg fym 1.5 kg oil cake and 1 kg super super phosphate and 150 g potassium sulfate per plant in the pit before planting is recommended here is the npk value of mature tree and young tree intercultural management maintenance of good sanitary condition must for keeping an orchard in healthy and disease free conditions intercropping or cover cropping should be taken during initial years of establishment which will ensure economy appropriate tillage and weed free plot clean cultivation is adop adopted when cashew is fully grown weeding should be done in two round four on of monsoon during october to november to fa facilitate spraying harvesting and picking of nuts from the ground pruning of dead and dried shoots along with criss cross branches water shoots double c crop yield harvesting and yield usually the nuts are picked after they fall off from the tree trees come to full production at the years and for the period of 20 to 25 years peak time of harvest march to april yield 6 kg per, 6 kg per tree physiological disorders little leaf disease due to zinc deficiency characterized by small narrow rolled leathery leaves which in extreme cases become needle shaped application of zinc should be adopted ne leaf necrosis due to iron deficiency yellow spot molybdenum deficiency controlled by 0.03% solution of ammonium molybdate plant protection insect pest and diseases first t mosquito most important damaging pest infested all plant parts controlled by applic of dimethotate corgan carbaryl extra second stem and root borers the symptom of infestation include presence of small holes in the collar region yellowing shedding of leaves drying of twigs and final death of the tree control by soil drenching with carbaryl 0.2% third damping of nursery stage disease occurring where soil drainage facility is available control by soil sterilization solarization with application of formalin solution fourth inflorescence blight caused by form of feces and gloriosporium characterized by drying of floral part cloudy weather is favorable condition for spreading controlled by bleotox to 50 g per 100 l water thank you